Hey Taurus, it's Angela Chronic from, I almost said Chronic Joy Tarot, formerly Chronic Joy Tarot, now it's Grounded Dreamers. Um, it's good to see you. We're doing a quick reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising. I'm calling this the May reading, but we'll probably have more readings in May too. So for now, this is kind of looking toward May and what kind of energies can we focus on? What aspects of ourselves can we focus on in order to um, move forward and keep expanding, right? Okay, so I'm gonna pull these Zen cards. I pulled an Oracle card for you to give us guidance into, um, into, what, into what to tap into, sort of a theme for our reading. And now we're gonna do these, put those back. We're going to do a Zen spread. So your card, your Oracle card I got for you, Taurus, is letting go. Is there something that is holding you back or keeping you stuck or that you feel you're spinning your wheels and, and really getting nowhere with? Let's just look into that. Let's see. And if not, then when something like that does occur, we are going to look for a path forward from it. Okay. So when we're feeling stuck, Oh yeah, got intensity. Okay, so look at this. Our first two cards alone, your starting point is intensity. So for some of you, I'm gonna say, you're in a space where it's pretty heavy and, and you're not really wanting to hang on to it anymore. You don't want to stay with that energy. Um, this is just for some of you. I don't feel like everybody's going through this intense time, but maybe an aspect of yourself is, maybe there's a, uh, maybe a relationship or um, maybe how you approach things within your, your kind of um, getting to a point where it's not working anymore. There's, there's many ways this can be read, but that intense energy is undeniable that it gets to the point where I just, I can't sustain this, right? Whatever that is for you. And then it becomes time to release, to at least release certain parts of it. And from what this second card is showing me, and this is also an internal card. So this is like something that's within you that you kind of have a sense of, but you maybe not share with others, but you kind of know in those conversations you have with yourself that you have a lot of past energy on board. Like you're, you're hanging on to, a, to some stuff that um, maybe isn't helping you progress forward and it's hard to let go. And that's creating an intensity in your experience. So this could be with a person. It could be with an old paradigm, an old belief pattern that you have that just isn't working anymore. It's getting untenable. It's becoming to a point where I, I can't think this, you know, I can't see things this way. Maybe you've always been the type to be um, super, uh, not judgmental, but maybe a little judgmental <laughs> with um, like decisive, like this is good, this is bad, that's the way life is, right? And maybe that's just becoming sort of like, that's not really how life is. Life is gray. It's not black and white. There's so much movement in between what we perceive as right and wrong. There's so much going on. There's all kinds of stuff that can, um, you know, transform any situation without really having to put labels on it as this is good, that's bad, right? So maybe that is, an, you know, and that's just an example, but maybe there is an aspect of yourself or the way you approach things and always have that isn't working anymore and that you, it's time to kind of find a way to release those patterns, okay? Um, so just calling awareness to whatever that is for you is important here. <laughs> And then in your external world, just being able to say, oh, wow, the way I've been doing things, it's really kept me spinning my wheels. And it's kind of time to not really give a damn anymore, like to just be, let me just have some fun. Let me explode with some playful energy. Let me, let me find the joy. Let me interact and not stay in this heaviness, right? This isn't, you know, like the answer to everything, but surely you can weave some fun into your experience in order to take your mind off of the intensities and the way um, you know things build up like that. So this is a balancing act right here, 
okay? Um, I think the key here is this clinging to the past card because we have letting go of what we're clinging to, right? And I feel that whatever patterning you have going on, or if this is a specific incident that happened in your past that maybe created um, you know, a trauma or a, um, a habitual experience that you have, you know, maybe something happened that made you think, okay, I'm gonna respond this way to adversity every time now, because that's the only way I can get through it, right? Maybe it's time to soften that. Maybe it's time to let go of old patterns and the old ways that we approach things, okay? The key to moving forward and out of this is the harmony card. So this is just now, you know, it's not like, okay, things are intense and they're really hard and now I'm just gonna be playful and aligned. Well, it's not so that simple, right? Um, the letting go process, it, it's, it goes in increments. It takes time. We, we let go of little aspects of, at a time, right? But the goal is to more often than not reach a state of harmony, have our thoughts and our inclinations aligned with our heart, you know, have it all aligned. Our intuition and our heart in this, in this card is aligned. You know, we, we're, we're tuned in and um, that's the the balance to strive for. It doesn't mean I'm going to move from this intense idiot, you know, intense um, energy intensity to all of a sudden now I'm all ohm and everything's perfect. But it is something to strive for, and it starts with letting go of certain ways of certain um, maybe um, paradigms that are that the way that we've always done things, the way we approach or perceive things. It's kind of letting go or, or maybe just making room for another way, making room for newness to come through. Okay. And then look at your outcome. It's rebirth. This is the start of a new phase of yourself. This is okay. So this is calling attention to those areas that we've always held um, onto, whether that's the way we interact with others or I don't know, um, you know, this is my career. That's the only one that's for me. You know, it's always what I've done and been. And it's the only thing that I'm possible, that I'm capable of doing. I can't be anything else. I can only be one thing, that kind of a thing. That can really start to weigh on you. We are, you know, as human beings, we're so much more than the one thing we do, right? So I'm just trying to think of new examples so that we can, um, you know, move through this in different, you know, with different approaches. But really the, the heart of it is to be willing to let go of some of these past ways of doing things, even if it's just a little bit at a time. And then that creates a release. It creates a, oh, you know, like an exhale. And then you start to realize, oh, I can be aligned. I can move from, instead of moving from habit, I could move from what inspires me, what my intuition says, what my heart wants me to do. I can make decisions from there sometimes, right? And that's what brings about this sense of alignment. And then of course, the rebirth card is the, the end uh, result. It's like from this dormant energy of the camel, who's basically three-dimensional, eat, sleep, you know, and that's it, to the lion who kind of wakes up for a minute out of this dormant state and starts fighting back and, you know, roaring out loud. But from both of those combined energies comes this freshness, this newness, the child, a new phase of yourself. This could be a new creative project that comes out of your being willing to let go of some old ways, right? Interesting. I love that. Okay, Taurus, I think that's it for now. I know it was a quick one. Um, I'll be back soon. I'll probably do some general readings and then maybe do um, another... Uh, you know, round of astro readings in a couple weeks. Okay. Bye.